Hey folks, how you doing? Susie Meadows here. I hope everybody's doing well today. This is Monday, July 4th. Happy Independence Day here in the U.S. And um, hope you are having a good holiday celebrating. And I know I've, I've had a great, uh, uh, actually a whole weekend, it's nice. So um, hey, today we are going to go through the celebration catalog. And um, I just wanna show you a few things. So now Facebook has moved a lot of things around. So I hope we are broadcasting. I'm looking at my iPad, seeing if maybe it will show up because Facebook updated my page. So um, I'm learning what that means. <laughs> so hey, as you join me, let me know you're joining me. Like I said, this is Monday, July 4th, my normal Facebook Live. Uh, you know we're live if you look up in that corner and you see the red rectangle. Otherwise, you're watching the replay, which is wonderful, or maybe you're watching on, on YouTube. Either way, let me know if you like this or if there's something else you would like to see rather than what I'm showing you today. So I think I'm going to go ahead and turn you down so we can really look at things. So you know that means I'm going to get in your face and... Now see, like I said, I'm looking for the buttons here. And... Okay. There we go, and it looks like, well, imagine that. It looks like we are doing a portrait rather than, well, I don't know. On my phone, it looks like I'm a portrait, but, <laughs> um, I don't know. But on my iPad, it looks like we are, I'm gonna get a little bit closer. It, well, it looks a little crooked, doesn't it? So maybe we'll go this way. <laughs> Bear with me. Uh, like I said, Facebook updated some things. So we're a little, it um, uh, looks like we are just a little um, disoriented. Okay, I'm just a little disoriented, which is okay. You know, that's just the way it goes. So I will not be looking at the phone. Instead, I'm going to look at my iPad off to the side. So um, let me see. It's looking like I should share something. I don't know. This makes me nervous. I don't know. Huh. Well, I don't know. Like I said, this looks different. So we're going to hit a button. And it looks like I've got to share this now. Okay. Anyway, I'm not going to. We're going to move on. Okay. Like I said, we're going to look at this. Sorry for the hesitation. Things have changed. You know, whenever there's change, that means just a little bit of disorientation, at least for me. So, but hey, we're going to look at the celebration, which just went live on the 1st. And also that went live was our holiday catalog. So I can open these up now, which I'm tickled. So if you don't have a catalog, you don't have a demonstrator, demonstrator, stamping up demonstrator, and you would like a catalog, get a hold of me and we'll see if we can work something out. Those of you that have purchased in the last six months or so, uh, you should already have your catalog. I sent those out. So you should have those. But, so I wanted to show you the celebration. It's around for two months. And those of you, um, um, yep, let me see, two months, yep. I was just double checking, that's what it is. So I thought we would go ahead and go through it and look at some things. So uh, this first one, I'm sure you have seen some of these. These are the hippos. I do not have these yet, but they are cute. Sorry, I had to get a drink there. And uh, celebration, if you make a purchase, qualifying purchase, you get these things free. And so it looks like um, for if you purchase $50 for shipping and tax, you can get that stamp set or you can get this one. Or if you spend $100, you get both, which is nice. So cool. I see you see my paper off to the side, but that's okay. Imagine that, just things, you know, they get in the way. So, okay, let's go ahead and look. Here we go. I wanna show you this Rings of Love paper, and it's a $50 purchase. And there's some other goodies in the annual catalog that coordinate, but I really like this. So I wanted to show this to you. I had it laid out, but of course I needed to scoot it. So of course it's double-sided, 12 by 12. So this is one side and this is the other. This is my favorite right here. These, this right here is my favorite. 
Um, I've already, in fact, I have some cards. I want to show you some projects. So here's the next one. It's got birds on one side and on the other is that pretty tie-dye effect. Isn't that pretty? So, and then here's the houses. I've seen some projects where they have uh, uh, fussy cut these out. Or I believe they're made, there's a stamp set that coordinates with this. So, and isn't that pretty? I love those colors. So, and this is fun with mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms and leaves and berries. So that's a fun one. Now on the back is where this gets its name which is Rings of Love. Um, very appropriate, my brother is a logger and I grew up on a farm and so we have always cut wood for burning uh, heat and things like that. And uh, so seeing these tree rings are really fun. So, but here's one, one of them. Okay, and another one, this pretty one, this is getting me ready, think in fall. <laughs> I know we're not in fall right now, but um, that's okay. So uh, here's the leaves with some acorn. And on the other side is a little more of a summery or spring, a gentle look. Pretty. And then here, we, this makes me think of Christmas. It look, to me, this looks like poinsettias. I guess it could be sunflowers. Um, uh, I rarely see them that red, but there's definitely some rust sunflowers. But to me, it makes me think of poinsettias. But, you know, you may think of something else. And then on the other side is the forest. <laughs> so, like I said, I wanted to show you a few projects with this paper. And like I said, this one is uh, Rings of Love. And I know in the catalog, it's hard to see things. That's why I wanted to make sure I showed you these things. I have already made a couple cards and sent them out, so I can't show everything. But here's one that I made with the acorns. And uh, this is actually um, another stamp set, which is uh, the, um, mm -hmm. it's in the fall catalog. I'll put it back and we'll find it here. And then here's one I made, like I said, this is my favorite paper. And this is with the, that tea, that tea boutique set in the annual catalog. And then here, I like the birds. And I used a folder, an embossing uh, folder, and with that made, it looked like the, the, this is the painted texture, I believe. So there you go. So this was, is the Rings of Love. Now this next one, you would have seen, um, in fact, I think I'm pretty sure I have posted a few things. And, that would be, let me pull it, get it over here. That here is the free, the pool party and soft sea cards and envelopes. And I've used those before. We used them at our team meeting. They've got envelopes that coordinate. And then you have either the sea foam or the pool party. And if you look real close, it's got some uh, some pretty leaves in there. And I want to show you a few things that I made with these. So, uh, like I said, we had a team meeting, oh, a snazzy crafter team meeting. Those of you that join me, with me at Stampin' Up, we get together and do some crafting. And this is, um, th these are some of the different, actually, this, this, I want to show you this. That is just jade, which has retired, but. That color is retired, but if you still have some in your stash, it works. I think it looks perfect with this. So, in fact, here's a few pieces I've already cut out. <laughs> so, and then here's one that we that uh, I just stamped on, and then I did some uh, clear embossing powder and heat embossed that. And then with the white, I did this one here. And that is the Forever Fern stamp set that did these and the dies that go with that. So, but these make it so nice because boom, you've got a card just like that. So, and of course that's the cloud punch. And look, can you see these pretty things? I have fallen in love with those. What are they? Let me, I'm gonna get them because I forget. They are, oh, here we go. They are the glossy dots. Look at those. Look at that prism, isn't that fun? I'll be using these more, believe me. <laughs> So these are some of the cards we made with the team, but then I did some playing afterwards. And, but this is nice. You get 20 cards and envelopes, which is wonderful. 
So now one of the other cards I made was with this Hello Harvest. This is in the new um, catalog. The, this is the Christmas, well, I call it the holiday, but this is fall oriented. And I ended up getting this Rustic Harvest Sweet. Uh, and I made a swap card with it. And, um, but with this sweet, with this one code, you get everything on these pages. And what I really enjoyed was here, these tools for dry em for heat embossing. So I have been doing a lot of heat embossing lately. But with this stamp set and die, this is one of the cards I made just to practice using, here's the dies, and these are those free cards and envelopes. Um, but this is just one of the things. I love it when the cards and envelopes are already ready. So as you can tell, I'll be getting, I'll be using these for sure. But here, this is the, the stamp set. And in fact, this is the one I used for this card, that hello. I used that right there. So, yep, yep. And this was, oopsie, I've already been playing some more. Red Cling, and we've got our dies, which is nice. So just wanted to show you that. That's just one of the things I've been playing with. I got these goodies since the catalogs just went live. I've been playing just a little bit, but um, um, getting ready for some other things coming up. So now I have seen some really pretty cards with this um, stamp set. It is, to me, it's very subdued and very, very natural looking. So, but that is Stylish Sketches is that one. Now on this page, <laughs> here is some silver and gold paper. And I've got that here. And I don't want to get it too shiny, but you have silver dots, silver stripes, gold dots, and gold stripes. So, and this is one of your options. It's only, it's one-sided, it's not printed on the back, but it's pretty. And I want to show you, I used it with, um, in, well, I'll show you here in a minute. But I want to show you, see here, they used a blending brush and I used it with a blending brush too. So, yes. So, okay, now, over here we have got amazing phrases. And those of you that know me, <laughs> I love that. And in fact, I've been using that um, a, a good bit. So I don't have any cards to show you right now. But I do like this. Woohoo! Amazing. Oops. Hey. And then you've got some nice other sentiments. So, but I want to, sh and, um, but I've got, I'll show you here, this amazing. This is one, and this is a preview of something else that's coming up in the catalog. But here I used this paper that I was showing you here, silver and gold. And with my blending brush, I added balmy blue and a little bit of uh, green. I'm not sure, probably use soft succulent. And then here I use that amazing, and I use silver um, and I heat emboss that from right there, amazing. So, so that was a fun one. And here, see this is, I'm just a segue over to these. This is one of my favorites, the Tree Lot Dies. You've got all these tree, well, in fact, I've showed it. Instead of me showing you in the catalog, let me find them for you. Here we go. Okay. Here they are. The Tree Lot Dies. And we'll just get these out here. I have been playing with them a good bit. How many pieces are there? There are 24 dies. And uh, these are the dies that you run through the big boss or the mini, uh, mini boss. They both fit. Um, but with this, that's what I use to do the trees, the camper, the lights, the pole. And uh, yep, so that's what I used on that. And then I had a color challenge using red, white, and blue. And this is my color challenge card. And once again, I did the camper and the lights and some flags. And amazing, this is with white heat embossing. Like I said, I've been using those tools a lot. And here I flicked on some craft white ink. That's why you see a whole bunch of other dots. In the background, this is the Neutrals Designer Series paper. 
So here's just a couple of the cards I've made with the tree lot dies. I am enjoying that. I'm not a, I'm not a camper. I really enjoy my AC <laughs> when it's hot and, and buggy. So, um, but I love that camper. If I camped, that's probably what I would use. But I wanted to show you here some of these tree dies. I, I was doing some playing and let me get these out of the way here. I was doing some playing and I wanted to show you some that I've cut out with some different varieties of things. And this, I used some of the new Glimmer paper. It's, um, it's got the three colors. It's got the gold, the white, and the evergreen. And with that, I'll get these a little bit closer. So here, I just wanted to show you what it might look like. Here is, um, this is Evening Evergreen in the back. And I've used that Glimmer paper on the, on the, uh, to look like snow. And this one, I've used the evergreen glimmer paper in the background and glued on snow, well, I'm calling it snow, with the other, the detailed dye. So that just gives you a different look. And the nice thing about the glimmer paper is it doesn't come off. It's not glitter that doesn't come off. It stays on there. So, and then here's a couple others. Here I used a soft succulent, just cardstock. And then with the detailed dye, I used that evergreen glimmer, glimmer paper. I think that's probably my favorite right there. But here's some nice ones too. Here's it. It's the solid, two different ones. This one is the evergreen cardstock with the glimmer detailed dye on top. Now this one is, this is the glimmer paper with evergreen detail on top. So there's a little bit of a difference. Um, it's subtle, but it depends on what you're looking for. And on this card, I didn't use any glimmer. I just used plain old cardstock, just two different colors, just to get a different look. So there we go. So those are the, oh, so let's just put these up here so you can continue to see them because I think they're pretty. <laughs> oh, by the way, we've got, um, Friday and Saturday, Dolls Christmas Tree Farm is having a festival, Christmas in July, and I'm going to have a, I'm going to be a vendor there. There's over 100 vendors. I'm going to be in the old the 1888 barn. So if you're here in Boone County, come check that out. It's on Friday night and Saturday. So, but let's keep going on this. Okay. I wanted to show. Now this I don't have. It's pretty. It's the it is the Wonderful World stamp set and paper. So that's a pretty one that you have as an option. And I've seen some pretty par projects made with it. And if you host a party, if you get some friends together, and together you put in a $300 order, you can get this perfect pomegranate free stamp set. So cool. Yes, yes. So, and the last thing I wanted to show you during celebration, Stampin' Up! always does a nice join special. If you would like to join me with the Snazzy Crafters, you can do a starter kit, 99 bucks. You pick anything you want from Stampin' Up! And you can get this. And let me find where that is. Here we go. Now, you know, as when you join, you do not have to... Um, uh, sell per se if you've got a few friends that want to help you put an order in occasionally that helps you make your quota but uh, i joined for the 20 percent dis discount so but hey what this is making plans collection you get this gorgeous planner notebook it's um let me see it's eight inches by nine and a half it looks like it's got a little magnet thing and then on the inside, it's got a place for your pen. It's got stickers, if you're into stickers for journaling. It's got pockets here and a pocket here. And then the thing is, I couldn't fit everything in. But this is an 18-month calendar. Uh, so you have tabs if you want to do your months by that way. Or if you want, you could very easily um, put a sticker over there and put the month if you wanted because you do have other goodies that come with it. So, so we've got this, which is a thick, uh, tab. You've got monthly focus. Um, I tell you, I'm going I like this because I like, uh, listing things out. And then here you've got, like I said, you've got, it's an 18 month. So you've got a month. There you go. We've got January. It starts, what month did it start? I think it started July, there you go. Oh, that's what I thought. And it ends back here, December of 23. So 
So we've got that in your calendar. You've got, if you want to do some uh, goals, some values, some things as you're working through things. Some paper, different varieties of, you've got note paper. Um, and these all are hole punch, so you can have them in there. And then if you're a list maker, here you go. <laughs> if you want to graph something out, you've got that. So, and then we also get this big, you can see how thick this is, weekly priorities. Where if you want to list out what you've got going on per day, you can. Look at all these sheets. So, that's a lot. And that's not it. Then, trio of notebooks. You get uh, three journaling uh, notebooks. You've got the plain paper. You've got the dots if you want to grid it out. Or you've got the lines, whichever. And then you also get a stamp set. So if you want to do notes, if you want to do some extra lists, some notes, you know, whatever, wish list. You've got all kinds of options of things you can stamp. So, but I wanted to show you this, gang, just in case you're interested. Because if you're going to spend over, you know, $100 on an order, you might consider joining and in the future you get 20% off. So, um, but if you don't want to, that's fine. Um, I will gladly help you with your order <laughs> in whatever way you want. So, um, in fact, that's what this is, gang. This is how you can get a hold of me at craftingwithsusie.stampinup.net. Um, that's where my schedule is, which my next class here at the Lebanon Library is July 21st. It's going to be a Christmas in July class. We're going to get started on Christmas cards early. So if you've got any questions, get a hold of me, gang. Whether it's help place an order, you want to join, you just have questions in general, you want to look at a catalog, things like that. I'm here in central Indiana. So uh, for June, this is my host code, HW6SHM6A. So... Uh, Hope you're doing well. Hope you um, are having a great uh, July 4th holiday and you're getting time to spend with family and friends. So thanks so much for joining me, gang. I will be here next Monday, my normal Monday Facebook Live, and I'll probably do be crafting. I just wanted to show these things. I knew I couldn't do both. So uh, like I said, next Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. Come on back. Hey, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.